This is Peña reading Palumbo's report. Insect activity picking up in desert produce. Foxglove aphid. Foxglove aphid have been found colonizing lettuce here at the Yuma Agricultural Center. This is not unusual considering this aphid species tends to be more biologically active under warmer temperatures. However, foxglove aphid is important because it has a tendency to colonize on younger leaves. This often translates into contamination of the heads or hearts of iceberg lettuce, romaine, and celery. The key to effective foxglove aphid and other aphids as well management with foliar insecticide is to initiate sprays at the time wingless aphids begin to colonize. Of course, this requires diligent scouting and sampling. On older lettuce, make sure you thoroughly examine developing heads, hearts. Fortunately, PCAs have alternatives to for foliar aphid control. For more information on insecticide alternatives, visit Fox Globe Aphid on desert lettuce crops. Corn earworm. We're beginning to catch corn earworm moths and pheromone traps throughout the area. This is significant since we had not previously caught any earworms since early November. Trap catches have been high in the Gila Valley over the past two weeks. Please check our area trapping network. This could be an early indication of egg deposition in fields which is important because once head formation begins, larvae will typically bore into the head one to two days after upon hatching. They're much more likely to bore into lettuce heads than other Lepidopter larvae. Larvae may enter the head from any point, although recently we have observed them burrowing in from the base of the plant near the core. If fields are not watched closely, infestation may not be noticed until the head is harvested. Once inside the head, it's almost impossible to control the larvae with insecticides. Mystery Lepidopterous Larvae An unidentified Lepidopterous larvae has been found burrowing into the roots of young romaine plants in the Yuma Valley. Several PCAs have reported this larvae and damage over the past two weeks when finding romaine plants wilting in the field. When plants were removed and examined, the damage on larvae could be found near the base of the plant. Images of the damage on larvae can be found in the attached document, Mystery Larvae. We have reared one of the larvae and waiting to have the adult moth identify the species. If anyone has seen this larvae in the field, please contact us as we would like to collect more larvae for further identification. Thank you.